Mic check. Check the sound. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to turn towards Jerusalem, giving all praise and honor and glory. Yahweh, Right, Yahweh, the true name of my heavenly Father. Yahweh, Shah, the name of his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, in the world, even though it's Jesus Christ, by Shema Krakadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. It's the inspiration given to us to edify those that have the ears to hear. Right? We give double honors to the Apostle Nels, the great Billstone, and many taught us his truth. All right. Hey, salutations to your sincere and humble brothers, faithful and diligent, preaching his word with fear and trembling through the spirit of power. Your heart, boss, me how was shot. Okay. Uh, so we out here at it again, once again, another Saturday on the highways and hedges to preach. All right, the truth according to the scriptures. All right, 100% truth. The judgment of the supreme ruler of the universe. All right, the world as we know is God, Jehovah. All right and of the return of his only begotten son okay whom the word is we know is jesus christ whom he had committed uh all judgment to and his true name is yahweh shai in the hebrew tongue all right so you know time is uh speeding up you know you see a lot of things going on in the news in the media all right whether it's your local news or whether it's uh, international news judgment is going forth every day man all right and time is running out okay time is drawing nigh to the day where our lord comes to judge his place and contrary to popular belief so-called jesus christ don't just save he don't just deliver he also destroys all right he ain't just good he's also terrible all right so you better get within the right balance of his judgment before he comes to execute his vengeance upon this uh, wicked and simple kingdom known as America today. All right, we're going to get the, uh, the scriptures. The Lord will, those that have ears to hear, be edified. This Romans 13 and 11, and that known the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Right, and knowing what? The, the time of judgment is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, we know this. And that's why we're out here faithfully, okay? Cleansing the blood off of our hands, all right? Because we are all guilty, all right? We are all guilty. The scriptures say whoever perish being innocent, right. all right? Can't nobody on this earth walk around and say, well, I ain't did nothing. No, you did something. That's why we in the hell that we in, okay? Go ahead. But now it's our salvation nearer than we would believe. And who is our salvation? The one that the world didn't know is Jesus Christ, who is the so-called so black or African-American man, all right? He's a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah. Right. All right? Go ahead. It's in the NLT, Romans 13 and 11. This is all the more urgent, for you know how late it is. This is all the more urgent. Because you know how late it is. Yeah, we're late in the game. All right? Time is expiring. What? All right? You see these NBA playoffs going on. All right? And these different uh, 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 gladiator games going on. They all on a time schedule. Come on, man. Whether it's a shot clock. All right? Or it's just a, a, a time of regulation. When it get down to the nitty gritty. All right? The final seconds expiring. That's when you really turn it on, man. Come on, man. All right? Come and see, we trying to obtain that incorruptible crown. Not the clown, it's a lot here. That incorruptible crown. Right? So this is more than uh, just a damn game you watch on television. This is real life, man. All right? The Lord is coming for blood. And he's coming with a sword. And he's coming with fire. Go ahead. Yep. It said, for you know how late it is. Time is running out. Time is running out. Yeah, man. You know, like, it made me think about, you know, you still play the Nintendo, you know, Super Mario Brothers. You have a time to complete them courses. 
Yeah. And you remember, you knew when the, you knew when time was running out. You used to hear that. Yeah, that's the time we in. The, 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 the music is speeding up. Okay. What? And that's why you see this word going out at a very high rate. That's why you see the men of the Lord beginning with the apostles and elders, the great millstone, pushing this ministry at a very high force. Okay, at a very high output. Go ahead. They said, wake up for our salvation. And then we're now, then when we first believe. That's right. You know? So we read Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, starting the first verse. Malachi, give me, uh, uh, give me, uh, 1 Ezra's 8 and hold, uh, 1 Ezra's 8 and 75. Good. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Yeah, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Which he created us to be a vessel unto honor. He created us to worship him in spirit and in truth. Right? Go ahead. Remember me now, thy creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come, not nor the years draw nigh. Read that again. This is, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now, thy creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. While the evil days come not. Okay? Because evil times are up ahead, man. That's right. Okay? Well, there'll be many, many more evil days up ahead. This is not the end, man. You think COVID was something, all right? You think these gas prices are something? You think 9-11 was something? You think the year 2000, which they demonize our elders, all right, uh, call us false prophets? Because what were we doing in the spirit of longing for our Lord and Savior to come? The scripture said we were going to desire to see the return of our Lord and shall not see it. Okay? So we always been in the, that's the spirit to be in. All right? Though we cannot put a, a, a certain date or time, exact date, pinpoint date or time on his return, the things that's going on in the earth, the amount of wickedness that's being multiplied and evil being done on the earth, all the uh, telltale side of his coming, all right? Drawing not. Go ahead, you know. It says, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Did you read? Read it again. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Right, while you got the energy, while you while you young, the Lord wants young men, okay? Just like a man, he wants a young woman, right? And we are the most highs, uh, Yahweh Shimi Hawashah's, Yahweh Shah's pride, man. Okay, so he wants us to come out here, put on these beautiful garments, all right, and praise and worship him in the spirit of, in the spirit of truth, with, 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 with enthusiasm, with vigor, okay? He don't want no old, dried up bottle, man, okay? Who done wasted his whole life and ain't got nothing left. Oh, uh, now he think, well, I guess I ought to serve the Lord, I get my life together now, right? You got a lot of people who say, well, when they get a certain age, they're going to turn their life around and get their life to God. But right now, you know, I'm going to live my life to the fullest. Right. That's the type of mentality that's going to get you caught up in the destruction because our Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. Right? right? Go ahead. What? Matter of fact, give me that uh, real quick. Stay with you. Because we're going to read down on it. Give me that. For many great misery shall uh, come upon them, right? Because they have walked in great, great, great pride. Right. In Second Edges chapter eight, verse fifty, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Right. Many great miseries are going to come upon the masses of these people, especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Why? Because you are the house of the Most High. Pertaining to First Peter four and seventeen, judgment is going to begin with the Israelites. Okay. The Lord's chosen people unto honor. And there's a great time of tribulation coming known as Jacob's trouble. Lord, we're we going to get into those scriptures, okay? But it says, because you have walked in great pride. The scriptures say pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit. Oh, wow. Yes, 
How you guys doing? What's up, man? You all right? Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead on it. On it. On it. On it. Uh, the second edge is eight and fifty-one. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory such as be like thee. Yeah. For unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, and the time to come is prepared. All right, so find the time, all right, to attain salvation. The tree of life goes into this means of knowledge and understanding, all right? Find the time that uh, is needed for you to attain salvation because wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time and strength of thy salvation, man. Okay? Go ahead, finish that verse. Blitzedness is made ready, and a city is built, and rest is allowed, yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. Right, but that's not forever. That's for a limited time only. Okay? Go back to uh three dash twelve. Bro's got something you want to say a piece of you know what I'm saying? But this is back in Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember, hey, uh, you pick up it too. All right, verse 2. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened. While the sun or the light or the moon be not darkened. That's symbolic for this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right? Because the time is going to come. We're not going to be out here. All right? The doors of repentance are going to close. It's like the ark on, on uh, it's just like the ark doors were shut up during the days of Noah. And guess what? The Spirit's going to shut them up. We don't have a date set where we say, oh, well, we're going to keep prophesying uh, until 2025. <laughs> right. We ain't going to give you no, yeah, like the brother said, you ain't going to get no two-week notice. you just going to, all hell going to break loose on earth and everything that we've been telling you, all right, is going to come to fruition. And then that's when you're going to be looking sick. That's why the scripture say, then shall they begin to be in pitiful case. Right. All right? But nobody's going to pity you. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse, uh, finish up verse 2. Our stars be not darkened, nor clouds return after the rain. Yep. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the, and the grinders cease, because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. Right. And that's going into the crash of, the, uh, of this system, man. Okay? But you can clearly see that America is the circle of the drain. All right? America is about to go into the abyss. Right? You even got uh, uh, tales of rolling blackouts for the summer. Hell, I seen it here in Memphis. All right? In, in, the, uh, in, the, in the Raleigh slash Raleigh area. Uh, about a week ago, all right, they had they, the lights off on that whole side of town for about two or three days, man, on and off. Okay, so you want to not only be in spiritual darkness, but your spiritual, the spiritual darkness you is going to manifest in the physical darkness. You're going to be wondering why, man. Go ahead, Malachi. So, uh, John chapter nine, verse four. This is how we shine. I must work the works of Him that sent me. Well, it is day. Right, we must work the work of our Lord and Savior, okay? Right? He said, occupy until I come, right? So you have a job to do that's more important than any of the other bullshit that y'all got going on, man. All right? Everybody think that their life is more important than anything else going on in the world. Oh, well, that ain't, that ain't, that, ain't, that don't concern me. What's going on over there in Ukraine and Russia, that don't concern me. Our oh, gas prices are going up, but I still can put gas in my tank and go to work. I don't care. I'm, if they don't do what they do, I ain't. <laughs> All right, give me uh, Rhythm of Solomon 3 and 13. You have more on there? Yeah, go ahead. The night cometh when no man can work. The night cometh when no man can work. All right? So you ain't seen unemployment like you think you saw it yet. And your job ain't as secure as you think it is. America is not secure. <laughs> a city without walls. The city of confusion is broken down. All right? So you better get in line. All right? You better start clocking in on time. Because the grace is going to run out, man. 
grace period is gonna run out. Go ahead, I'll give me a wisdom of Solomon 3 and 13. I still want you. We're gonna we're gonna keep going on that Ecclesiastes. This is wisdom. Uh, 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 oh, you got wisdom. Okay, go ahead. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 13. Read up. Their their of their offspring is cursed. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which have not known the simp, the simp, the like it. You know, wisdom Solomon 3 and 13. Then I know the bitch. Nah. Three and eleven. Right. This is wisdom Solomon chapter three and eleven. For whoso despises wisdom and, and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain, their labels unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. Right. So whatever you're doing outside, if you're not if you're not doing this work, if you're not feeding the lambs of your heart by shooting out a shot, if you're not out here on the highways and edges prophesying one of the people of the judgment to come, read that again. This is wisdom of Solomon 3 and 11. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. Your hope is vain. So you you know you got your mindset on attaining to some sort of uh social status in life, you know. Being all that you can be, you know, being becoming some type of uh, guru, you know, <laughs> whatever your hope is in, whether it's in, in, in your family, your finances, if it's not in the wisdom, not the understanding of the heavenly Father, the way the wisdom is written within the Holy Bible, it's all vain and unprofitable. Keep going, read it. Finish it. No, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. Their labels unfruitful. Your label is unfruitful. And it, and, it, and, it, and it comes to show you that no matter how much you make, it's never enough. I got you know? Especially, you know, if you work in these uh nine to fives, all right. Even if you have your own business, right? When you think you got it all together, you're sadly mistaken. And a lot of people put on a facade, you know, but really truly, hey. 99.9% .9 of the people in the world are miserable. You know the, you know the ones that ain't miserable? <laughs> really, even they miserable. Yeah. The, the, the one percenters, even they really miserable. But they not, you know, they not living their lives worried about money. They're miserable because they full of fucking wickedness. Okay? Go ahead, bro. This uh Isaiah 8 and 21. And they should pass through it. Hardly be sad and hungry. And it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their God and look upward. And they shall look unto the earth and behold, trouble and darkness, dimness and anguish. Trouble and darkness. That's what you're about to see, man. That's, that's all that's coming. All right? Uh, that, it's going to blow over spirit. This, this too shall pass spirit. The, o the only thing this world is going to pass through is thermonuclear missiles. That's right. That's right. Yeah. The only thing America is going to get is going to get blessed with is fire from above, spiritual fire. All right. Inside of the mold. A fire that no fire station in the world combined can quench. All right. Yep. Go ahead. It said, and behold, trouble and darkness, dimness of anguish. And they shall be driven to darkness. They shall be driven to darkness, man. Yep. Right? And that's going to be spiritual first. Everything happens spiritually first. Yep. And, 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 and darkness uh, rep represents uh, you really being in sin. Okay? Darkness represents death. Right? The scriptures say they shall walk like blind men. Yep. Okay? The word darkness is going, uh, going to calamity. Say it again. The word darkness is going to calamity. Yeah, that's what's coming to the earth. Yeah. Because we just brought out Ecclesiastes 12 3. Those that look at the window uh, should be in darkness, meaning your future. So you think your future is bright, it's going to be darkness, man. The only thing come to this place is darkness and evil times and calamities after calamities, man. That's what's coming to this earth is darkness, bad times, Jacob trouble, evil times, man. Famine. 
legs Yeah, we. Said, he's he's speak gonna speak to that. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get. It. You know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, speak, speak loud, man. Speak, but you know, speak so you can be heard on the beat when y'all speak. Every. Uh, yeah, go back. You know. So this is back in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the window be darkened. Right, and the grinders go into the into the laborers, man. The work out here. Work, work, work. You I said you ain't seen unemployment yet, man. Come on, man. You know? Right now, they talking about trying to restore the economy due to the pandemic. But how the economy gonna restore behind a pandemic when you going right from the pandemic straight into inflation? When gas prices are at an all-time high, your, your, your daily necessities, your grocery stores, everything is at an all-time high, man. It's, it's not, it's not, uh, what, you think about like how a rubber band, how shit just stretches, just stretches and stretches. Well, after so long of stretching it, that motherfucker's gonna break. Okay? So, this, this is the, this is the scenario the American society, the American economy. It's about to be broken, okay? Just like the ancient Roman Empire, which this system was built on, broke, this system gonna break, man. All right? Go ahead, you know. Verse four. Hey, I like to add, cause it's kind of found out, article saying the average American needs to make at least $35 an hour to make ends meet. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is, is skywalking, price, price of food going up, gas going up. And on top of that, famine, food shortages, man. There's a drop going on right now in the, in the West Coast. You know, these lakes are being dried up. So it's about to be bad out here, man. The average American ain't making $35 an hour. And they really and they really put it in the perspective, not even for $35, $35, $35 an hour, but also $300,000 a year. Yeah. You don't have to be able to uh, make $300,000 a year to just to survive. In this society, oh. right? In this economy, this coming, this this coming crash of the dollar bill is going to take these people back into a stone age. Either you, it's either going. This, this is what the lower upper class of America is going to look like. Either you're going to be living in the stone age, or you're going to be living in the digital age. It ain't going to be no middle class. The lower class people are going to be living off the grid, all right? Living off the land to the best of their ability without being fucking terrorized. Or you gon' you gon' have to go into that fucking Luciferian uh 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 dystopian society, man. Okay? Yeah. That's no it's not gonna be a middle class. They destroying that, man. All right? It's gonna be rich and poor. And then you rich or you poor, man. Ain't no in between. We seen that with the uh, when the shutdowns happen. Before let's get into it, man. Ain't gonna be no middle class, man. Either you rich or you poor, man. You got it, I like Yup. Go ahead. Verse four, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Right, all and these companies being bought out by the Fortune 500 companies, right? You got motherfuckers like uh, Elon Musk uh, <laughs> buying up all the smaller companies. This motherfucker that bought, uh, what? Twitter, Twitter. Twitter. They talking about buying, he bought Coca-Cola. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He talking about cocaine. putting Coke. And it's all about drugging your ass up yeah, to keep you fucking more uh, out of your mind than you already are. To keep you in that docile state of mind. You know? It used to be uh, something called the, uh, the crack epidemic. Well, now it's the uh, 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 opioid epidemic, man. Okay? Because these uh, new drugs fuck you up way worse than cocaine and crack. K2 synthetic. You know? <laughs> Shit, I'm I'm riding, I'm riding Jake. You know what I'm saying? In a ride, he he bugged out his fucking mind. You know what I'm talking about? He been popping mollies and shit. I damn near had to drag his ass out of my car when he got to the destination, man. You know. So you think about this happening on a, at an all-time high all throughout the earth, man. What's that drug called? Fentanyl. You know what I'm saying? This shit is bugging these people out of their mind, man. Yeah, because Esau, he ain't giving you the real seeds. You know, GMO 
Marijuana, man. This is what you niggas smoking. Yeah. Synthetic Good shit. Good old hybrid ass marijuana and shit. You know? <laughs> you niggas bugged out, bro. All yep. them chemicals and shit in that shit, man. Go ahead. Hey, if I may add, that's why it goes back to what you said, they musical. So they gotta use tools that America give them. Yeah, to, to cope with society. Yeah, to basically be level with it. it yeah. Keep them level. That's why they gotta, hey, the highest thing that happened in 2020 when the pandemic locked down was the liquor stores was in. Like, they were rich. Like, yeah. they were making money because yeah. everybody wanted a drink. Yeah. Now, imagine yeah. if everybody don't get that drink. Or, or to get special. The yep. weed stores hey, still the weed, up. Yeah. If they don't get their weed or their drink, man, hey, they gonna be peace. Hey, so, on the face of the earth. Hey, so yeah. the Lord gonna make you go cold turkey out here, man. man. He gonna have withdrawals. <laughs>
make you a part of a uh, transhuman digital uh, 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 revolution. Go ahead. Let us not be weary and well doing, for in due season we should reap if we faint not. Right, because anything that you do in this world that in the eyes of the Most High is honorable and noble, you frowned upon by the masses of society. Uh -huh. Okay? The scripture saying in Isaiah 59, uh, I believe it's 15, right? Jump there real quick. Hold it. Uh, hold what you got, Karah. Jump to Isaiah 59 and 15. Uh, so this is Isaiah chapter 59. Chapter 59 and verse 15. And it reads, Yeah, truth felleth. And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Yeah, truth felleth. Okay? So the, the, the true uh, righteousness of the Heavenly Father is not settling in on the masses of the people. And it wasn't meant to, right? Because he ain't dealing with the majority. He's dealing with the with the small remnant, okay? The majority of uh, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and Hispanics, the exact number being two-thirds, truth is going to fail you. Truth ain't working for you, you know? Because what? You got to be patient, all right, in order to receive the reward of your well-doing, all right? Go ahead. This Let him finish and you go back, Rob. This is Isaiah 59 and 15. Yeah, truth fellow, and he that departed from evil make himself a praise, and the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Right. So the Lord is highly displeased at this time. Because we're living in a time where the world is uh for the judgment on a high level, man. Totally and completely void of judgment. Because in these people's docile, dumbass minds, they say, well, only God can judge me. Not knowing that the Lord set up pastors according to his own heart that shall feed you with understanding. That's right. Go ahead, Karab. Uh, at the end where you just read about the well done. This is a Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not be wary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. Look up that word opportunity. As we have opportunity, let us do good unto all men. Right? Hey, it's no greater work. Hey, because we really go into the good of the scriptures. The good of the scriptures is, 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 the, is the gospel. Preaching the good news, preaching salvation to all those that, that, that weep and mourn and sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the earth. But if none of this shit is bothering you, you don't got a problem with molds. You don't got a problem with the uh, mick chips being forced down your throat. You don't got a problem with abortion. You don't got a problem with the way the world being ran. Then, then truth is failing you. Okay? You can't be, there's no, A. Hey, the scriptures say, the scriptures talk about uh, uh, a man, a, a man that knoweth not to do good unto himself, uh, how can he do good to anybody else? Which I'm butchering it. It's Esau. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, but even, even in Esau, we just say, as the kings and the rulers are, so are the people. Right. So if the king and the ruler don't know how to be good to himself, how the hell do people know how to be good to themselves? Yeah, you gotta know the standard of what's good and what's evil. You gotta know. It's a thing. If, if he can't help himself, how can I help him? Yeah. Right. If he don't wanna help himself, how can I help him? Yeah. Right. <laughs> See? So read that again, Karab. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. See, especially unto them that are the household of faith. Because those that are the household of faith, they know the righteousness of the Most High. Because faith is the beginning, all right, of, 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 of learning of the Most High. You got to believe in Him first and foremost and fear Him. So let's get that word opportunity. This is the word opportunity in the Blue Letter Bible, the definition. 
do measure a measure of time a larger or smaller portion of time. A measure of time, a larger or smaller, uh, uh, because the time is running out for you to do good. Man. See, soon you ain't gonna have a choice to do nothing but evil. Cause you ain't gonna know, cause they finna take the good option out of the way. Like, it's no, it ain't no, it ain't no more good, we ain't gonna teach you what's good. They already took the Bibles out of your schools, all right? Teaching your children the gay BC. And you rolling on with it like, oh man, it's all good. I ain't got, hey, I ain't, I ain't got nothing against that, right? But the Lord said, who will rise up for me against the evildoers, against the workers of iniquity, man? If you're not with me, you don't against me. saying yeah. if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Mm -hmm. So you just there. <laughs> Shit, I had to get checked out by a mo uh, today. Well, looking at my peace compliment and I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't, the way I am, I don't even like to conversate with them. Right. Shit, my spirit jumps out of my flesh wanting to slap the shit out of them when they see me. But for some reason today, I was in a little bit more of a, uh, what's that, be peaceful, it, it all, I was in that spirit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, that's like, yo, so I kind of did a very, Minor chit chat with her ass. Like, oh, so you know about she asked me what, what my stone was. Normally I would have ignored the bitch, especially being a mo. You know? I was like, us amethyst, you know, you know, they don't need I mean they still people. They're abominable ass people, but they still people, you know. A fixed indefinite time, the time when things are brought to crisis. <laughs> <laughs> that word of crisis. Crisis in the Oxford American thesis goes into a critical point, Woo. catastrophic, a time of intense difficulty. A time of intense <laughs> difficulty, man. That's, you ain't, it's gonna be real hard to do good, man. Hey. Doing, do a, hey, it's gonna be easier to tie your shoes than to do good, man. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Hey, it's gonna be easier to breathe than to do good, man. It says height, moment of truth. The moment of truth. Zero hour and point of no return. Point of no return. <laughs> it says zero hour. That's what America is going into, the point of no return. Matter of fact, it's already there. Oh, yeah. It ain't, it ain't, you know, all that shit Trump is talking about, make America great again, and you know, his new campaign to save America, shit. Uh, shit. 100 seconds to doomsday. <laughs> there ain't no hour. That's shit, a few seconds left, man. The deadline is coming, man. Man, that was beautiful. Go ahead, uh, uh, it look like, uh, 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 Malachi, you had something? Yeah, get this one, watch this, huh? Cause we're going to the world opportunity, go ahead. Yeah, we started 15 for me, though. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. Dang. See ah. then, that you walk yeah. circumspectly, not as fools. Hey, start reading, start 14. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest. Awake thou that sleepest because the opportunity, all right, is, 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 is going fast to wake up, man. Yeah. To wake to righteousness. Go wake ahead. to righteousness. And arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Real, we read in Ecclesiastes 12 before the light, the moon, and the sun be darkened. And that's really going into the Lord turning away his grace. When the Lord turns away his grace, it's night night time, nigga. <laughs> Go to bed, nigga. Go to bed. <laughs> he turned he turn to like, hey, hey, and that's why he giving us the oil, right? He, you got the opportunity to get the oil to keep the lamps lit right now, man. The reason, the reason why we are have the opportunity to get this is so it's gonna be what's gonna Get us through these dark times. This is the oil that's gonna keep our now. Hey man! Hey! 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 hey get, get your ass out of there! Boy, gotta be something. Yeah, Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all pay attention down there, man.
talks about in 2nd Ezra 9, people abusing you know, the Lord's ways and casting them behind them, right. well, the doors of repentance were yet open. So as long as the word is still out there, able to be grabbed like a China King buffet, we should be out here getting it. Because once it's gone, it's a wrap. That's when, that's when the judgment's going to come. Because that means all the servants are marked with our walk. So uh, Ephesians 5 and 14, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Well, what's the light? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This truth. Go ahead. See then that you walk circumspectly. Right, see then that you walk circumspectly, man. Circumspectly. Keep your head on the swivel, man. You watching. You on your watch. Go ahead. Not as fools, but as wise. Right, not as fools, but as wise, man. You know, you would. Uh, go ahead. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. Right, we're deeming the times because the days are evil. So the NFT of uh, Ephesians 5 is 16. NFT. It said, make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Now, how can you make the most of it? By doing the work. Before the deadline comes. Before the time of the word comes, man. You see? You, you measuring down the time diligently in itself, man. So you got to make the most of these evil times, man. You know that, hey, what's it? Cut a stock rate? Uh -huh. You know? Zero hours? Man. You see? So make the most of it, man. Do the work. You know, you come back on, on three hours more shot, you repent, man. You put on that new preacher in your hour shot, you walk in the spirit. That's it on this. Go ahead. <laughs> Verse 17 Wherefore, be ye not unwise. But understanding what the will of the Lord is. Right, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Is to what? To feed his sheep. Be instant in season, out of season, man. You know, not take your hand from the plow, not giving up. So you gotta understand what the will of the Lord is, which is what? And doing unto the end, man. Then you're gonna be saved, man. Going through the hour of temptation. <laughs> you see? So you gotta you gotta understand what the will of the Lord is, man. What's that? Sit it down. Folks and count the cost, man. Know what you sign up for, man. You gotta build your cross daily, man. Go ahead. Ephesians 5 and 18. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess. Why be not drunk with wine? He all these other uh vain philosophies out here, man. Well, hey, what Pastor Paul said for this on the fifth so, chapter, man. Be sober-minded. You know? But times and brethren, you know, <laughs> let's go ahead. But be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit, which is what? This word. John 6 and 63. Tell so you, brother, you got to go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, knock, knock. Oh. This is 1 Ezra chapter 8 and verse 75. For our sins are multiplied above our heads, and our ignorance have reached up to heaven. For ever since the time of our fathers, we have been and are in great sin even unto this day. Right. And you gotta ask the average uh ask the average person what sin is, they can't even tell you. According to the Bible, they can't even tell you what it is. And them same people will tell you that the law is done away with. <laughs> and that's why they can't tell you what sin is. You see? But here it is, uh you got essence. Prophesying, which he prophesied what in the in the in the Persian Empire, right? Yeah. Talking about how we have been multiplying our sins even before he came on the scene. That was 2,500 years ago. So how much more now? That's why I say, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the earth. You had something quick? I got the first Ezra. That's what he reading now. Oh. Okay. Yep. 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 So I read it again. This is first Ezra 8 and 74. And it reads 5. So like 75. For our sins are multiplied above our heads, and our ignorance have reached up to heaven. Right, yeah, we're in deep water, man. You know? We, we need a savior. We can't get out of this shit we in. We beyond uh, uh, wickedness. And the man that's ruling over us, hey. He beyond wicked. 
He don't know how to do right, man. They say that's why I say his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. And this is the man that's ruling over you, who you are completely clueless about how he operates. You only know what he tell you. The only thing he tell you is a goddamn lie. He's a slanderer. He's a liar. They say he was a he uh he's he's the father of lies. You know. Go ahead. Verse, 70, verse 76, for ever since the time of our fathers, we have been and are in great sin, even until this day. Even until this day. Go ahead. Verse 76, for ever since the time, I mean 77, and for our sins and our fathers, we with our brethren and, and our kings and our priests were given up unto the kings of the earth to the sword into captivity and for a prey with shame unto this day. See? See? So you are in an opportune time when the Lord has raised those kings and, and, and those prophets back up. This is an opportune, this is an opportune time. Alright? Because remember it was a time when we couldn't come out here and speak uh the truth. Try this shit back in the 40s and the 50s. <laughs> shit, 60s. We've been lynched. Okay, so this is an opportune time, man. Go ahead, uh, uh, Quran. This Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High. Right, this is the same book that we was forbidden to read. You know? We watching that movie, Alice. Nigga talking about, <laughs> I, only, I only taught you to read as a domestic. You know? they would, The only reason that them damn devils taught us to read is so they lazy asses wouldn't have to pick up the book and turn the pages. You know? But you know how, it, how back then they had audio books and Bibles. So that was like the, audio. That, was like, that was the audio book. That was the only reason my mother taught you to read. But he was banking on, oh, they don't understand. understand. When you go in that movie, Alice, when she picked up the book, you don't understand what you read. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They was banking on that. But by thy words, thou shalt be condemned, devil. <laughs> we did understand what we was reading. And the law that endureth forever, all they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leaders shall die. Right. Matter of fact, give me that. I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Because what they what they didn't understand was how the spirit works. The reason why we did understand what was written in the in the Bible when we started reading is because the spirit was already in us to receive uh uh uh, uh the, the, the hidden message, man. All right, to receive the mysteries of the kingdom. Like Yahweh Shah told the disciples in Matthew 13 chapter. And I now give you that scripture where it says, the Lord opened the eyes and the ears. All right? So you can put all, I'm talking about you devils, you so-called white people, you can put all the money you want to, invest all the bees you want to into stopping us from receiving this, this truth, all right? And getting an uh, uh, understanding of the Lord's righteousness. You can put all the money you want to into it. It's not going to happen. You're not going to deceive the elect. Man. Okay? Because this is a spiritual battle which you have absolutely no uh, power of. You have absolutely no spiritual power outside of deceiving deception. Man. But truth, uh, the truth trumps deceit every time. Okay? You find it right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, give me pure mind first. Go ahead. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and 1. This second, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. They stirring up our pure mind by way of remembrance. Okay? But <laughs> it, it takes a it takes a pure the first the first a part of this is the pure mind. Right? Because the scriptures tell you in uh, Wisdom of Solomon that no defiled thing can fall into her. 
It's a pure, it's a pure influence flowing from the Almighty, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So unto the pure, all things are pure. <laughs> but to the under, to the unbelieving, there's nothing pure. The only way you're going to believe is if you have been imparted faith. And faith is a gift. Okay? Hold that on deck. Uh, Ephesians 2 and 8. Hold that on deck. Read. Read that again. Done. This is back in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. That's what it is. Go ahead, Karan. Got it. This nephew 5 and 8, blessed are the pure in heart, but they shall see the most out. Go ahead. What else is going to say? Blessed are the peacemakers, but they shall be called the children of Yahweh Shema Go ahead. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, but theirs is the kingdom of heaven. See? Theirs is the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. No man knew the power that he's coming with, but he himself. 
Go ahead. He told us he would not meet you as a man. Not gonna meet you as a man. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was looking for the one. Is it to talk about the red horse? On, in, where, where you at? Revelation. Red, red horse. Okay. Okay. Get yeah. Get that. Because he said he was he was uh, uh, given a sword to take to take peace from the earth. Yep. All right. So if he got a sword to take peace from the earth, Yahushua got a sword to bring peace back to the earth. <laughs> Revelation chapter 6 verse 4 and there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon and the Hebrew word for red is Adawam and the people of Adawam is Esau Edom Esau okay the red people go ahead and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and power was given unto him that sent their own to take peace from the earth, man. So you have to ask yourself when you read the scriptures, okay? Because you see red horse, like, I don't really get that. But it's plain when it said power was given to him to take peace from the earth. So you would take that part of the scriptures like, damn. All the wars and shit going on in the earth. All the hell going on, on the earth? Who going around the earth? Rape, robbing, murdering, killing people. On a mass scale. Man, come on. See, them niggas are trying to play it down, play it, and point the finger at the projects and the niggas on the block selling uh, nickel bags. Nickel bags. <laughs> like, that's the source of the problem, right? <laughs> and, 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 and our people so dumb, they fall for it. Well, nah, our people just as bad as the white man. No. <laughs> yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason our people are worse than the so-called white man is because we were called to be a vessel unto honor. We were given righteousness. See, <laughs> Apostle Hart said something. It really was a stumbling block, but I understood as soon as he said it. He was like, oh, really? The wicked are righteous. The wicked, the, the he doing what he's supposed to be doing. You see? Yeah. The, the, the devil doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> it's you niggas. It's you niggas. Ain't doing. <laughs> the niggas ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing, man. <laughs> Esau were crazy. You know, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics. You are the ones that not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. The white man doing what he's supposed to be doing and putting a, putting a foot up our ass, oppressing the hell out of us. <laughs> he doing his job. When uh when when uh when they say uh Joe, they say the sons of God presented themselves before the most high and Satan came and he asked Satan what he was doing. He said, I'm going to and fro up and down in the earth. Doing what? <laughs> Tempting. I'm doing my job. <laughs> That's his pleasure. And it's say it's the Lord's pleasure to chasten those that he loves. The wicked is identified as the Lord's Lord. Go ahead. I got a free self. In Daniel 8 and 25, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Yep. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace, and by peace, Shall destroy many. <laughs> so by peace, he's gonna destroy a lot of Israelites, man. Yeah. Come on, he said, when let's just say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, man. So when an enemy uh talking peace, you wanna wait, you wouldn't know it, man. Yeah, because he ain't about peace. We just read Revelation 6. He should take peace from the earth, man. Yep. Through his laws, if they gonna say the midship is, is a peaceful thing, hey, right, he's gonna destroy you, man. So you know you take the uh the karagma, it's gonna be destroyed. Uh, by nuclear fight. Then say, um, I'm gonna finish it. And that's why, ain't that on the back of the dollar? Is uh, order Al Kay? Is order that on the back of the dollar? Yeah, right. Or is it uh, Novus Order, so, which, which is a uh, new, new world order, right? But uh, their motto is for uh, it's for the order Al Kay, you know? Yep. Yeah. Tomorrow may first May Day. Yep. They say, um, he should also stand up against the prince of princes, but he should be broken without hands. That's not Lord and Savior Howard Shah. He's going to destroy him, man. 
I would take vengeance and I would not meet thee as a man. Hey, the Lord said he's coming with vengeance, man. So what's up with your pastors teaching you about God is love, he's all good all the time? You people walk around with a false sense of reality, man. Ain't no, ain't no good coming out of this place, man. You say, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Without one. America is a fucking filthy cesspool. Yeah. It says, whoa, uh, uh, to the uh, city whose scum is therein, man. You know? Yeah. And the spirit of this place is physically manifested on legs. Walking right by you up and down the street every day. Go ahead, man. This Job 14 and 4, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Not one. Now what? Go ahead, uh, 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 y'all. Uh, Malachi, you want to call y'all now, son? Son. I wanted to get this, uh, this deal with ancient Babylon, but it can be applied to this kingdom because we know every kingdom prior to the kingdom of heaven is going to fall. It's Daniel 5 and 26. Because there was actually an article, too, uh, that the elites had got a message from CERN, which was the same message in here. So I'll just start at 25. Daniel 5 and 25, and this is the writing that was written, many, many tackle a parson. This is the interpretation of the thing, many. God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Give me Joel 14 and 5. Oh, well, Give me uh, Proverbs 21 and 30. Yeah, because what it say, all the time he good, you wait. He gonna make good on his word, man. And that's what, destroying this bitch Babylon the Great, man. All right. All my nuclear missiles, man. He's all, he's, he's all just, he's just, but he ain't all good, you know? He's all righteous, but he ain't, he ain't all good, because you got something called necessary evil. <laughs> I pray good, I pray evil. It's necessary evils. It's necessary evils must come, man. Evil means bad times. This is Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Right, going to what? He got a he got an expiration date. Esau Eden. Esau Eden got a time limit. Remember, Revelation, what's that, the 20th chapter? He should be loose for a little season. And hey, we in that little season now. So we that again. He, he like that, he like that full milk. He you see? And if I may add it, say, uh, he know that he had for a short time. He know he had for a short time. He, uh, say that's 437 too. This Job 14 and 5, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, and thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Yeah, see? <laughs> Going back to, uh, linking up with the brother Red, was that Daniel 5 and 25? Yep. Right? It's, it's no uh, getting away from the final judgment that's coming upon America, man. All right? It's, if the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, that means the wicked are ruined. And the wicked are reserved uh, uh, to wrath, man. Okay? You got it in uh, Proverbs. Hey, I can't get this real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Second Ezra chapter 4, verse 37. By measure hath he measured the times, yep. and by number hath he numbered the times. Uh -huh. And he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. Right, till every prophecy come to pass, man. So the Most High not going to break his words, man. He said he put his word above his name. So till the said message be fulfilled, man. That's why no man know the day, nor the hour, nor the time when the Son of Man coming. Yet, yeah, not the Son of Man himself. So he's not going to uh, um, jump prophecy. Or skip the time, you know? Until the same message be filled. Until the Lord say, okay, enough is enough. Go on back to John Job 14 to 5. So Esau Edom, you ain't gonna go a, a, a second later, a, a minute over past your kingdom, man. Right. You know? And the main thing that the Lord, like uh, the brother brought out Isaiah 47, the main thing that the Lord is doing right now is exposing and revealing him according to 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, yeah. right? Isaiah 47, where you read, uh, 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 uh
So once he's revealed and everybody knows who he is, now uh, his judgment has to come. Yeah. You know? That's when uh, this place is going to ultimately be destroyed. Because that's when he's going to come with the full force of his power. Right? Deception. When deception is over with, he can't no longer use that no more. Lord, to chop that arm off, he can't do nothing but use the sword. You know? Go ahead. In Proverbs 12 and 2, a good man obtain the favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man of wicked devices will he condemn, man. Okay, so that's what's going on with Esau Edom. He's a man full of wicked devices. And the most wicked device that he has ready for you, all right, is the microchip. All right? That's what he got for you. He's going to turn you into a cyborg one way or another. Just keep upgrading your phone. A cyborg. You're going to need a, hey, you're going to keep upgrading your phone. Next time you're going to know, now you need to upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Me and the brother Yakanon was talking about that shit. Right. Because he's selling it to you with buying and selling being the solution to hyperinflation and you know uh uh oh you lose your wallet, you ain't got oh now you now you don't gotta worry about losing your wallet. Convenience. He's selling you convenience. Okay? But guess what? Not joy, he's not he's no he don't care about your convenience. It's for his convenience. For him to be the ultimate dictator. To the point your ass going down Crocus ass, right? You, you got your money in your hand, right? Then you go that your ass gonna pay for something and get it. Hey, items no longer available. What you mean? It's right there. Items no longer available. It's right there though. It's a glitch. But your ass can't get it. But then somebody else with another status come in, boop, walk right by your ass, get it, and walk right out the store. Oh, you reached your weekly limit of uh, <laughs> bananas. <laughs> you, you, you can you can only have you know because he gonna be into that he already into rationing out. So how much more when he got you completely at his disposal? You ain't gonna be able to you ain't gonna be able to move like you think you are gonna be able to move. That's why you gonna get your ass. We gonna be in the store. We walk in. We walk through the door. Your shit gonna software update. You gonna pause. Then you gonna go in there shopping. You had a whole list of shit you thought you was gonna go in there and get. You ain't gonna get none of that shit. Like uh, 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 you reach you reach your monthly steak limit. Damn, <laughs> damn. Please choose from fish. <laughs> I don't like fish. Yeah. I'm gonna lose this fish. Make your ass eat pork. Damn. Cut out all the chicken. Oh. All the all the healthy meats make your ass eat shrimp and pork. Oh, no, 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 for the machine. Yeah. Now you go like a get on um, the red box or the movie. Yeah. They had the meat coming now. Bro. Yeah, red box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he do all the meat from a machine, man. Oh, man. Already made. <laughs> Damn, it's fucked up, bro. It's miserable. Come on, cuz. <laughs> you, you should want to get him out of man. Right. right. I tell you that he can imagine how to throw you in a pit. Come on, man. you going to fall right forward. Nigga, see the. Nigga, see it. Shit, man. It's all right down there. Let's just jump in the motherfucker. <laughs> you people gonna jump right in the pit. Can we tell you? Go ahead, bro. This is this is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Yeah, man. Expectation. Expe expectation goes into uh, a time frame as well. You you expected something, that means you waiting for something to happen. You know. And you looking out the window. And it go back with uh, we were Psalm three and eleven too. So expectation going to hope. So if you hoping that anything outside of this truth, read it again. This is Proverbs ten and twenty eight. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness. But the expectation of the wicked. Yeah, so we'll take your little snickers. You know, we know you walk by, you have these different uh, little looks on your face, looking, you know, uh, what, what do you call, uh, yeah. slight yeah. slant yeah. out of it, you know, looking looking at the side, sideways of the shit. Eyes, eyes. You know, we'll, we'll take all that, because we know our hope has a, uh, has a, a true reward, man. Right. 
I, and if I may add to uh, if you pay attention to like everybody, they head be down, but I head be up because we got some little cool. We got real true hope. Yeah. We got true hope, man. We are saved by hope. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, this is this is Proverbs 10 and 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Go ahead. This is, uh, what you done with it? Yeah. This is Sawai, five and seven. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Yeah, you better stop wasting time. <laughs> the tick is on the top. <laughs> For suddenly shall the wealth of the Lord come forth. Ooh. And what's that, that, what's that, what's that real, uh, hickory dickory dock? The mouse went up the clock, the clock struck 12. And the mouse fell on his head or some oh, shit. shit. Yeah, 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 hey, <laughs> it didn't turn out good for the mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it turned out good. It turned like the peak, right? Yeah. yeah. So at noonday, man. Yeah. Shit. It say, uh, make no tear to turn to the Lord. That was my shot. Put that off him day to day. But suddenly should the wealth of the Lord come forth. Right. And, and that security, thou should be destroyed. Job 21 and 30 after this. Go ahead, huh? And perish in a day of vengeance. Yup. And thy security, thou shall be destroyed, man. Yup. Hey, man. You better, hey, you know, Jake, that's on disability, getting them social security checks. Your ass could be trying to get to a spiritual security check. Exactly, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, Jake, you know, Jake, oh, I'm good. I got, I got a check coming in. Hey, okay. what's the, hey, matter of fact, checks went out today. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. It's the first day, ain't it? Yeah. JB banking on that. Oh, first of the month. Bone does at home had that song. Jake, Jake, Jake live for the first of the month. They, they, secure with the, they secure with them payments until them motherfuckers stop coming. And they say, yeah, we don't need you to come down to the Methodist uh, South uh, uh, and get your new. <laughs> yes, sir. Get, and get your new form of check. Your, 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 new, your new form of payments? Yeah. What you mean? <laughs> be delayed until you bring your way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just wait, because Esau's going to come with some shit. Yeah, you know, he's full of robbery. <laughs> yeah, give he gonna, he gonna, when you When you get ready to, uh, when you get ready to, uh, go into that, to that, uh, man, when you get ready to go into that mandatory, uh, uh, McChippin, all right, Karabin. He gonna, he gonna get on Social Security people a, a bonus. Like, oh yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, sorry for the delay. We're just gonna throw an extra thousand dollars on there. You know, just, yeah, just ain't gonna follow that shit. You already took the, you already took the jump shot? That's <laughs> an extra plus thousand. Extra yeah. plus thousand, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's painless, you know. It's, it's, be like, it's just like it's not even there. Yeah. Man. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, this song went down low, come in on your ass. <laughs> Go ahead. That motherfucker come in heavy on hey, 3 o'clock. Because you, know you, you know how you be on your phone and you be like doing some shit and then it go into an automatic update. update. Oh, okay. You be like, damn, you, you might have been doing a video. Yeah, you, might have been, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it go into an automatic update. That's how your ass, your ass gonna get automatic updated. Man. Come you on, gotta, man. You got to consent to it. That was good to say, oh, you could be chomping down the feet, on the, oh, uh, chomping down the foot. Those that consent to it, man. Like the guy, Nicholas, he had a plug right there. You got to unplug from this shit, man. Detach from it, man. They go to bones, you speak like bones, thugs, and harmony. You see? So everything is spiritual, man, to a spiritual man. You got to unplug from the society, man. Because you plug in, you going to be updated, goddammit. Yeah, you really go, that's beautiful, because too, this made me think when you really go into bones, 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 rep bones represent the dead, like the dry bones in Ezekiel, yeah, yeah, and yeah. thugs go into demons. Yeah. So you going into dead, dead with the demons, dead with the demons in harmony. That's what bone thugs and harmony really mean, man. You know? Yeah, you in tune with death. You in tune with death. Death yeah. and demons. Made a covenant with death. Oh, yeah. Because thug ain't nothing but another word for a demon, man. Go ahead. Job 21 and 7. Wherefore, you hey, know, and you know it's true, cause that 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 nigga future, he be saying that shit. He be, he be referring to the to the hood niggas and shit as demons. 
Yeah. Now he be saying demons. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he be saying demons. He said I'm on a, on a, on a, on a he got some, he said I'm on the block posting with the demons. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Which is another word for thugs. Hey, then the cars they drive, the Hellcats. Yeah. My demon. Got yeah. the demon on the yeah, seat. Yeah, I got the demon on the seat. Yeah. <laughs> Red eye demons, got pets and all that. Yeah. So everything the money got here, man. Yeah. And see, it, it started in the spirit and then it, met, it manifests physically. Right. Go ahead, bro. Get that uh and then give me Joel 21 and 30. Go ahead. And we're gonna get uh 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 Ezekiel 7. Go ahead. You want me to just get 30 also? Chapter Where you at? Yeah, 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 you can get there, you can get yeah, yeah. Job chapter 21, verse 7. Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, are mighty in power? Go ahead. Their seed is established in their sight with them, and their offspring before their eyes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of God upon them. Not yet. Damn. Not yet, right? But yeah. well, guess what? Now jump down to verse 30. Job chapter 21, verse 30. I'm sorry, 20, uh, 29. Okay. Job 21, 29 to 30. Have you not asked them that go by the way? Yeah. And do you not know their tokens? Yeah. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. Hey, so he ain't putting the rod on their ass yet. Because uh -huh. he's putting it on us right now. Because yeah. they are the rod that the Lord uses against us. But guess what? But guess what? <laughs> hey, Yahweh Shah is the rod <laughs> that he gonna use against Esau Edom, man. The one that gave Esau, see, this is the thing. The, the scripture's so cold. The one that gave Esau Edom the sword is the one that's gonna take it from him and whoop his ass with it. Only he who made it was now lit. Only he that would let it was now lit until he be taken out of the way, man. You know? That was it. That's 330. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath, man. And the day, and the day of wrath is upon us, man. You know? Lean up to the day when the Lord comes. Only evil is coming, man. Yeah, Ezekiel 7. Nah, we can start at the top. This is Ezekiel. Chapter 7. And just keep reading. No little girl. I'm going to let you keep going. Let's go to verse 7. Good. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, starting at the top. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord, power unto the land of Israel, and end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. Huh? Now is the end come upon thee. And I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways. The end and Esau are synonymous. See? The Lord uses Esau to bring evils in the earth. All right? Go ahead. Verse 4. Verse, oh, wow. verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense Upon thee, payback, oh. recompense, payback. All right, <laughs> re meaning back, compense meaning to pay. You finna get it, everybody finna get it. All right, those that despise the Lord, all right, finna get that. they finna oh. get it, man. Go ahead, get it real quick right now. Hi, this is due to Omni. Like, this is Deuteronomy 32. Let's see, uh, 40, 40, uh, one. If I whip my glimmering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will win, I will win the vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. <laughs> I will make my arrows drunk with blood and my swords to devour flesh. See? And that with the blood of the slain and of the captives, for the beginning of revenge upon the enemies. The Esau Edom is prime enemy number one. But guess what? Two thirds of the Lord's own people is his enemy. That's why he said, Those that would not have me rule over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. 
That's we talking about his own people, man. Yeah, the Lord coming back way harder than uh, Adrian Broder, man. Because uh, Adrian Broder, the slogan is uh, anybody can get it. Yeah. Africans, Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? But hey, that's not a Lord coming back here. Anybody. anybody. <laughs> You're not of the elect. The Lord, hey, the Lord want all the smoke. You see? They ain't talking about no smoke, no smoke. Hey, you don't want smoke with the Lord, man. It said, upon the hands, he went many crowns, man. I'm a finish. He said, rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. For he will avenge the blood of his servants and will win the vengeance to his adversaries and will be multiple unto his land and to his people. You got it, huh? Yeah, he's going he's gonna to win the vengeance, man. Go back, you know. Uh, so this is back in Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 4. And my eye shall not spare, and my eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee. Right, that's why the Lord is answered through Prophet Ezra said, you're going to be in pitiful case. Right. But the Lord said he ain't going to pity your ass. Ezekiel 94, 95, right? <laughs> Slay utterly. That's no pity. Go ahead. I will have no pity, neither will I recompense thy ways upon thee. And thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yehovah, Shimei, I was shot. Thus saith the Lord, power and evil and only evil, behold, is come. Evil and only evil, behold, is come. Give me second, there's a 14. Where you at, seven? You at seven yet? No, verse six. Okay, go ahead. And it is come, the end is come, and watches for thee. Behold, it is come. The end is watching for you. <laughs> the, the end is the deadline. The end is watching for your ass, man. The end is on your ass. <laughs> we watching for it. <laughs> this say the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom to destroy it from off the face of the earth. The Lord say uh, that they that they that they don't fear the city, uh, uh, fear the face of the cities no more. The end is watching for your ass, E. <laughs> so your ass, Mr. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? Verse seven. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Verse, verse 8. Nah, that's it. Let me get a quick one. All right, his brother, give me second there's 14. Go ahead. This first Peter is 4 and 7. But the end of all things is at hand. The end of all things is at hand, man. The end of America is at hand, man. The end of democracy, the rule of demons, is at hand, man. Yup. Hey, the end of T. The end of the world is coming soon. The end of the world is coming soon, man. And we say the end of the world, not the end of the earth, but the end of this age of wickedness is coming to an end. That's right. Yup. And it's going to go out with a bang. The big bang. Not the big bang theory. Right. <laughs> but the big bang, man. Right. Shitty, shitty bang bang, right? He said, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer, man. Yup. Yup. And that's what these people, let's say, they walking as uh, children of the night, walking in drunkenness. Right? Yeah, yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about spiritual, they spiritually drunk. Go ahead, get that uh, second there's 14 and uh, by evil being multiplied. In the earth? Yeah, second there's 14. 14, is it 27? And now, therefore, set thy house in order, and reprove thy people, and comfort such of them as be in trouble. Well, that's what we doing. The house is talking about what? The house of Israel. Okay? Specifically, the house of David, the elect. Because those are the only ones that's going to get in order at the end of the day. Go ahead. And now renounce corruption. 
let go from these mortal thoughts. When, 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 a war kick, when, a, when a war kicks off, right, the two opposing sides, what do they do? They get in formation or they get in order if you're ready to go to war. So all that in between shit, oh, hey, all that religion, man, out, oh, no, man. God is just, you are God, is, I'm self God. <laughs> All right, nigga. All right. We're going to see what self-God going to do <laughs> when, when World War Three break out. Yeah, you're going to have to save yourself. You're going to have to save yourself. <laughs> Ultimately, man, because the Lord said, well, choose you this day who you going to serve, life or death. So you got to choose a side. Ain't no in-between. Let go from these mortal thoughts and cast away the burdens of man and put off now the weak nature. Right, because... This society is causing us to be a weak people, man. We get to a point now that you can't do anything without the uh, economy, right? You can't live. You can't. You can't drink water. You can't uh, have a roof over your head. You don't know. Like you, you are totally uh, dependent upon the society. You just like them damn uh, grown ass babies on the matrix in them in, in, in their in their field and them incubators, man. That's how they got y'all. You know, as a nation, man, we finished. He wants you to be totally dependent upon him for each and every need, which that's the curses. That's the curses, right? The want, for the need and want of all things, you have to go to your enemies. If, 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 if the power go out, you don't got no water. Oh, I got a generator. Okay. How long that generator going to last? Oh, I got a solar generator. Okay. How long that's going to last? Yes. You still got to charge a solar generator. Go ahead, bro. Set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. Haste thee to flee from these Time. Find the time before the deadline. Go ahead. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Hey, there's something worse coming than the coronavirus. <laughs> well, hey, this is the month of May. Just so y'all didn't know, this is National Zombie Awareness Month. All right? Yeah, yeah, that's a real thing. National Zombie Awareness Month. Now, how many shots you say you got? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but, but look how much the world shall be weaker through age. Look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So if people are in the mindset that there's not, oh, this is the greatest time ever. This is way better. Than, oh, that's the, that's the stone. But the Lord says, seek the ancient path. Seek the days of old. Now, these millennial kids, Man, doom. Man, I don't believe it. <laughs> it's over with. Man, we can't even help it. <laughs> Go ahead. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that the world they're in. So evils are going to only increase upon the planet Earth. That's it. Yeah, you, you might think, yeah, you got it good right now. Trust me. That's, that's going to come to a halt. Good times. You ain't going to have it. <laughs> Look, uh, what's his name? James Florida Evans? Shit. Oh, good times. Good, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. they going to be like the Rothschild compared to how niggas living, man. <laughs> they, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's going to be tough out here, man. You're going to wish you could have lived like James and Florida Evans, man. <laughs> Go ahead. I got a piece up. Go ahead. This second is 16 and 37. I start 36. Behold, the word of the Lord receive it, receive it, believe not the gods of whom the Lord speak. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. The plagues draw nigh and are not slack, man. Go into that word plagues real quick. Go ahead, I know. It's, a, it's, a, it's when a woman with child in the ninth month bring forth a son. With two or three hours of a great slugger, with two or three hours of a birth great pains, could pass our wounds, which pains 
when a child coming forth, that's like not a moment. And that's what's going on in America is uh, going through them birth pains as a woman in travail, man. Okay? And what is ultimately, uh, that those pains represents the evils. But the birth that the woman is going to uh, 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 bear is going to be the fruit of righteousness, which is your house of which is going to come and do away with those evils. You got it, bro. This yeah. is plague in the etymology, late 14th century. Affliction, calamity, Ooh. evil, severe trouble, Ooh. or vexation. On, severe man. trouble and vexation. That's all that's coming, man. Right. You know, like I said, you're going to wish you could live like James and Florida Evans. <laughs> Can I start? <laughs> All that shit gonna be a done away with in that day. Go Most ahead, kind of not. Even so, should not the plagues be slack Woo. to come upon the earth. Nice. So, meaning what? They're not gonna turn down. Uh, this is the year of the shot turning up. So, the year of the not about to turn down. A nigga don't want to turn down. So, much more the Lord. You know, so these plagues are, 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 are it's coming. They, they slack not a moment. As a matter of fact, you know, the swine, uh, what is it? It's the bird flu. The yeah. bird flew back on the scene, man. man. You know? Yup. <laughs> hey, she been be wild, man. Yup. Go ahead. You got, you got oh, oh, and then uh, that 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 uh, the McChilp is a play. Cause Biden, he already passed the legislation, which was about a month ago, giving them like 200 and some days to come up with a uh a way to monitor digital currency, which we know what that is. All right. Come on, man. They say, uh, 39, even so should not the plans be slack that come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So woe to the world and them that dirty with man. So everybody's going to feel the sorrow and going to feel the pain. You know, you think this shit happened in Ukraine, you, you ain't feeling it. Hey, you gonna come into the middle, man. Nobody's safe, man. Ain't no green zones. Man. Yeah, so how, how long do you think it's gonna be before America pisses off the bear? Oh, you wanna send 20 billion over there to the Ukraine? Oh, okay. Okay. So, and it's all prophecy. You gonna piss the bear off, man. Yup. Keep, keep poking the bear. Yup. We ain't talking about the grizzlies, guys. The eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle keep keep poking the bear. Okay, we are gonna see what that eagle gonna happen to that eagle. Go ahead. Second Andrews 14. Back at back at 17. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Yeah. For the time is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand. For now haste of the vision to come, which thou hast seen. So things are speeding up. Hey, just recently came out and said, a minute ain't even 60 seconds no more. Man. <laughs> yeah. A minute ain't even 60 seconds no more, man. I said a minute, they didn't change the minute down to 59 seconds. <laughs> Because they, 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 they can tell, like, you know, there's time is speeding up. You know, they go on these damn space explorations and expeditions and shit. You know, and they come back with this newfound information. Yeah, we found out that, you know, 60 seconds is no longer equivalent to a minute. But y'all don't know shit about time. Right. All right? <laughs> the, the, the time is in the hand of the Lord, man. That's right. The ancient of days. Ancient of days. Ancient of days, man. All right? And, and your time to hear and receive this word is running out rapido. Go ahead, bro. Then answer I before thee and said, Behold, Lord, I will go as thou hast commanded me and reprove the people which are present, but they that shall be born afterward, who shall admonish them? Who shall admonish them? <laughs> hey. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel 12. Give me Daniel 12, right? Who shall, who shall admonish them? Because Ezra is inquiring, like, I'm gonna warn the people for now, but the people that's coming after me, who gonna warn them? <laughs> Daniel 12 and verse 13. But go thou, thou way to the envy, 
Go thou thy way until the end be. Go ahead. For thou shalt rest and stand in the lot at the end of the day. So we was going to rest, meaning we was going to go to the spiritual realm. And we are going to come back on the earth to bring forth, to be judged and bring forth judgment again. All right? And the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. So Ezra the prophet back then was warning the people. A modest means to warn. Ezra the prophet most likely is back here today warning the people, man. Okay? Thus the world is set in darkness and they that dwell therein are without light. Yeah. Yeah. Everything going back to what we opened up with. Ecclesiastes 12, Romans 13 and 11. All right? Darkness, man. Gross darkness shall cover the earth, man. Yep. But, said, but that should not turn from that wickedness, and don't be always mindful of the scourges, man. But these plans are sent for uh, amendment, man, yep. for a convention. So you can redeem the times, man. So you can understand what time we're living in, man. Well, Lord said, you hypocrites. You can discern the face of the earth, but can't discern the times we're living in now. You know? For thy law is burnt, therefore no man knows the things that are done out of thee or the work that shall begin. Yep. But if I have found grace before thee, send the Holy Spirit unto me. Woo, give me Ephesians 2 and 8, I had called for that earlier. But if I have found grace before thee, now get the word grace in the etymology too. Now I want you to end on that verse. We're gonna get Ephesians 2 and 8, and then we're gonna get uh, uh, redeeming the time for the, we're we'll end on redeeming the time for the days of evil. Read that again and give me the word grace in the etymology. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by the second edges 14 and 22. But if I have found grace before thee, send the Holy Spirit into me, and I shall write all that have been done in the world since the beginning, which are written in thy law, that men may find thy path, and that they which will live in the latter days may live. Hey, so hey, that's the spirit, man. The spirit gonna come back around. The thing that has been is the thing that shall be, and there's no new thing under the sun. All right. So you see, uh, and if you go on to read uh, on down this chapter, which we ain't gonna jump, 1435 talks about uh, reincarnation, man. Uh, Second Ezra 14 verse 35 talks about reincarnation. So these things was written for a record for when we came back in the spirit in a new vessel, we would have record of the judgment of the Lord. That's right. That's what Ezra did. He wrote down everything that the Lord told him concerning the judgments that's going to come upon the earth, man. So you better find time to get the judgment right. Go ahead, bro. This is grace in the etymology. Late 12th century, Yahweh Shema Rashi unmuturated favor. On what? Unmerited. Unmerited favor. Yeah. Love or help or pardon or divine grace. Divine grace. Yeah. Hey, hey, oh. Favor, thanks, elegance or virtue, pleasing or agreeable. Beauty of form of movement, please equality. Give me grace in the uh, uh, Miriam Webster dictionary. See if it say anything on there about, about time, dealing with time. Because really, grace is, 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 is of course, is 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 divine influence from on high, all right? The ability to receive His wisdom, not to understand it. And give me that scripture I called for earlier about the Lord opening the ears and the eyes, all right? That's what that's what grace is, okay? And that's what Ezra was praying for. But when he count came back, that the Lord open, open, have His eyes open to the judgment, okay? Hey, you got it. I got a song. It say, uh, yeah. I'm at the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the word grace, 
What's the definition? Definition two, letter E, a temporary exemption. A temporary exemption. See? A temporary exemption. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, they tell you the law done away with. Yeah, okay. No, there's a temporary exemption from the penalty of the law. That's what grace is. Go ahead. A state of sanctification enjoyed through divine assistance. <laughs> So this is the time for you to get sanctified beings to be made pure, right? This is, a, this, is a, this is a time for you to purify yourself, all right? So, oh, all right. <laughs> the quality or state of being considerate or thoughtful. Yeah. Hey, that goes, hey, this, and it goes into time too, because this is the time to be considerate and thoughtful right now yeah. about your life, whether you want to keep it or not. The most high supposed to be in all your yeah. thoughts. Supposed to be continually meditating in the, in the in the judgment of your Hobash and Hobashai in this word, man. You're supposed to be in your thoughts, man, constantly. You know. That's it. What you got? Uh, yeah, Ephesians two, and then what you got? Oh yeah, give me that. This on Matthew thirteen, start of fifteen. For this people' heart is rest gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. And the eyes they have closed. That's at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears. And should understand with their heart and should be converted. And I should hear them. Right. But, but it's another precept though. It's in the price in the Proverbs of the Psalms. Okay. Where it talk about the Lord he, it said it says the Lord opens the ears and the eyes. Okay. Go ahead with that Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. All right. You know, so you being able to understand this is ultimately dependent upon your Habashim and Habashah opening up your eyes to his judgment as Esri's prayed in 2nd Ezra's 14th chapter, man. Okay? And that's why we have to be thankful constantly, always praying and, and, and giving honor, right? And all the praise and glory to the Ha'abashim Ha'abashah, the Heavenly Father, the name is only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? We found it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's okay. This is scripture. I, I want to say it's a proverb. Saying, uh, uh, opens, opens the ears. Open the ears. Uh, I don't got the internet, but it's cool. Let's get that redeeming the times if y'all can't find it. I was uh, You see it? I believe this is, this is Psalms 146. Uh, eight, the uh, Lord opened the eyes of the blind. Yeah, that's it. The Lord opened the eyes of the blind. Uh-huh. The Lord waits at them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. And, and it's probably, if you go to a cross reference, it's probably going to keep the other one because it talks about the eyes and I want to say, it's another scripture to talk about him opening the eyes and the ears. But read that again. Uh, I went to the cross worker, the cross, the cross reference, Isaiah 35, 5. Maybe. It said that then the eyes of the blind should be open and the ears of the deaf should be unstopped. Yep. 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 But I'm going to read it again. Matter of fact, go to Isaiah 35 and start up a verse before it gets to that point. Uh, Isaiah 35. Now get some context. I started uh, two. Well, I started three. String ye the weak hands. Can we start at one? Yeah. Isaiah 35 1. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice, and blossom is the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. That's talking about us getting this understanding, man. Okay, because remember, we see the valley of the dry bones, that's a desert. A dry place is a desert. Go ahead. It said, Lebanon shall be given unto it the excellency of the Carmel and Shawan, that shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our power. What's the glory of the Lord? 
What's the glory of the Lord? His word. The excellency of his power is his word. All right? Understanding his righteous judgment. That's that's the that's the that's the core. Go ahead. It said, but that's what that's what ultimately going to give us the kingdom of heaven. Right. Go ahead. But streets, train ye the weak hands and conform the feeble knees. Yep. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Be strong, fear not. Behold, your because the, because the, the number one uh, tactic of the enemy is fear, bringing fear, bringing fear upon you, and then he bring the fear upon you, and then try to act like he, you know, trying to save you. Same nigga kill you, acting like he trying to save you. Like Alice. Yeah. I ain't telling them they can stay. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't tell them they had to stay. I just didn't tell them they could go. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Come on, man. <laughs> then when he ran away. When he ran away, away you shooting them and shit. <laughs> Come on, man. It says, say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, feel not. Behold, your power, Yahweh's Moshe, will come with vengeance. Yep. Even the power, even the most high with, at wicked pits, he will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind should be open and the ears of the devil should be unstuck. That's right. That's right, man. That's right, man. Yep. So we're going to get all the closing. This is Ephesians 5. This is Ephesians 5 and verse 15. See ye them, ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time because the days are evil, man. All right? So you got you to gotta buy back your right. You got to buy back your righteousness to get back to the most high. You got to buy it. Like, you, you can't just live and be on that, uh, I love the Lord, we're at that lip service. You got to rehearse the righteous acts. That's, you got to take, give me Isaiah 55 and 1, and then you can read it again. Isaiah 55 and 1 explain it better than what I put in words in. You got it, uh -huh. Isaiah 55 and 1. This is Isaiah 55 and 1. Ho, oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that have no money, come ye buy and eat, yea. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Right. So to redeem something means to buy something, man. So you want to buy back righteousness, all right? You got to invest your time in this truth. But that's, we already read it. That's, a, that's, the, that's the opportunity of a lifetime. You ain't going to get this chance very long. The deadline is coming, man. And it's going to come as a thief in the night, man. You know, so read that one more time, we'll close. So this is Ephesians 5, starting at 15. See, then ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Yep, so repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Our salvation is dealing with the lead, right? We're going to turn towards the roof and give all praise and honor and glory. Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the Apostle Nels, the great millstone, peace out, taste to the hope for the leg. Quam y'all swallow. Quam y'all swallow. Ball, ball, ball. Guys, this is the destroyed confusion. Shalom, bubble party. Shalom.